Hi, welcome to the Stock and Knit Zombies. I'm Amy, also known as Jay Nitma. And I'm Megan, also known as Just Run Knit. And this is episode 96. Huh? Yep. Getting up there. It is. Will balloons and confetti fall from the sky when we hit 100? <laughs> I never. Unless I can <laughs> convince my husband <laughs> to come throw it at us. <laughs> Jeremy, stand over here and throw it. We could wear silly hats again. Oh, that's true. All on New Year's Eve. Yeah. 2011? Yeah. 12. Yeah. Well, yeah. It depends on. Yeah. It was 2011, 2012. That's probably the best, most apt description. Mm hmm. Because it goes into two. Anyway. Hey, yo. Yeah. How's it going? Um, pretty good. Work is work. Yeah. I um, have a knit all the things, finish all the things obsession with my knitting right now, but it's not like yielding much. It's just a lot of like stress. I don't know this what's going on. Is on fire. <laughs> my my four year old has taken to singing that. Ah, this girl. It, he just knows that one line. <laughs> I went to a soccer tournament this past weekend, and when I came back, my husband was like, yep, Child Protective Services came while you were gone because your son was singing something from Pitch Perfect. <laughs> we got reported for child abuse. <laughs> it was like, what? <laughs> and then I realized he was joking. So, Yeah, I had a soccer tournament that I took my daughter to, which seems like a really great idea until you realize that your daughter needs to go to the bathroom like every 15 minutes. Mm. And I'm only, they shortened the halves. So normally halves are 45 minutes. And for the tournament, because you're playing, well, I played four games in two days, they do 35 minute halves. Mm. So it was like an hour she had to sit there. And she convinced me, the first game, she convinced me and two other adults to take her to the porta potties in that amount of time. Yeah, I was like, is there something wrong? <laughs> Why do you need to... She, they just got bored. Uh -huh. So there was other... You know, there was another little girl around. and Yeah, so that was interesting. But um, the game was fun. I'm by far the worst soccer player on that team. Um, that just... I was surrounded by very, very talented women. And we won the tournament. So huzzah. <laughs> that was exciting to go up to the Twin Cities and us Rochester girls. Although we did have a fair number of... Twin Cities or non-Rochester players mm. on our team. But primarily, we were Roger Rochester. We were the Rochester Silver Lakers. Mm. That's okay. right. It was our team name. So, yep, stayed up stayed up there in Blaine and um, had a little mommy-daughter weekend with another mommy and daughter of somebody that was on the team. And okay. Yeah, it was fun. Other than you forget that your daughter's still pretty young. Mm -hmm. At seven. Yeah. Like in my mind, we were going to be, you know, I don't know, <laughs> doing more adult things. Not adult things, but, you know, I wouldn't have to run her to the bathroom every ten minutes, I think, was the average. And missed part of my soccer game. And we went, they had us to the hotel at a swimming pool. We that went out to TJ Fridays, and she got to order what she wanted. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was fun. Fancy, fancy. Yes, I know, right? And it's the it's been a while since she's been an only child. Uh huh. Yeah. So it was pretty exciting to. What I can get this because mommy doesn't have to buy it for two other people as well. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, you may, Ellie. So, but that was my weekend. Fun. I did a lot of sock knitting because I didn't want to take this big sweater. It was. Oh, it was horrible hot on Saturday yeah, here. Hot here yeah. <laughs> I didn't even want to look at this thing. I was so warm. Um, so Yeah, I'm, yeah. my husband ran a, a race that day mm. in the hot. In Rochester? Or? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> I've been avoiding running until this morning. And it was okay, but I didn't go very fast. Yeah, it's hot. It's not, the heat takes a lot out of you when mm -hmm. you're physically exerting yourself. We had a lot of subs, and that was a that was a godsend. Yeah, I was hoping that we'd have a cool off by now, just for my health sake. Um, I've been vehemently opposed to working out indoors. Um, it's it's been my ick, you know. Like 
I don't know, I get kind of like a, get mopey and I say, oh, I can't work out. My husband says, we have the tapes downstairs or whatever. Go downstairs and do it. Oh, tapes. That tells you how old I am. Anyway, um, <laughs> the discs. Yeah. Downstairs. And, uh, so you must have caught that from me because I hate exercising indoors. Yeah. It's catching, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just kind of spread over there. <laughs> It did. I was contemplating uh, reflective gear headlamps and uh, warm clothing. Yeah. I, I hate it that much. Yeah. So, um, yeah, getting able to, being able to run outside this morning was wonderful, but it's still too humid to really feel like I can, I don't know, pick up the pace and mm -hmm. uh, I just felt kind of slow. Slowish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, but I did it. And that's the important part. I did it. Hooray! Bobby well, we Simos, we did it. We did it. <laughs> Dora, good old Dora. All right, um, we have the Sun Valley Fiber KL going on. Um, I'm currently knitting on mine as we speak. We do. Uh, and the self striping going on. The fishnets that I showed you two weeks ago will be the prize for this month. Kind of an, a, a uh, Halloweeny theme. Uh huh. For our self stripies. Uh, what else? I think we can talk about everything else in line and at the end. Okay. So, what do you I have this? off of the needles? Um, so, I only have two things, but I figured these two things was an accomplishment because of my ADD. Only two things. Right, but they were so close to, you know, like, I don't know. <laughs> ADD. I was all over the place this weekend. I think so, that's I got. Too, yeah. By the way. My um, blurred line socks are completed Doo -doo. with the OMG heel, mm -hmm. and I hear there is a top-down version. It's a coming. Cool. Mm -hmm. Those are super fun. Yeah. Of the colors, then I am excited to cast on my next stripey sock, but I have too many socks on the needles as it is, so we're just going to have to wait. Um, but yeah, squishy. Oh, and I realized um, after the fact that I was knitting these on 2.5 millimeters. Hmm. Because it was uh, my sock rockets, and they were 2.5, not 2.25. Hmm. So when we did our mage, our mage, yeah. our gauge measurement. Yeah, I was knitting really tightly on uh, a much bigger needle than I thought. Hmm. But go you. Yeah, but I did notice that when I was wearing them, um, I wore them like for like 20 minutes tops um, just to see how they fit and walked around in the house but then it was too hot whipped them off but they um, they did seem a little looser than the last pair of socks I knit but again that whole going up a half a needle size that'll do her did it those are beautiful baby. and that was that's fireweed studio yes yeah this is yeah this is the uh, Russian fairy tale color Nancy yeah and that's the only skating yarn I have from her, so that might need to be rectified at mm -hmm. some point. I think she went on vacation. Well, that's fine. I, I don't need. <laughs> I don't need. You don't anything. want for anything. Oh wait, you do want for. Things. I want. You don't, I just don't, don't, need. don't need. And I completed a, another vivid square out of my Dancing Dog Dye Works. This is the His Royal Highness colorway for Henry. And um. Yeah, I haven't blocked any of these yet. I figure I'm going to wait until the very end. What's your end count now? Just three. Just three. Yeah, so this is the third one. I knit two way in the past, but um, Little Birdie told me that the rest of my yarn might be coming soon. So I'm like, yay, I can start again. So you're going to see more of these. I just, um, so I skeined up my one skein that I have a full skein of. <laughs> and I'm going to knit that up. And I'm going to weigh everything. And then hopefully by the time I do all that, my new yarn will be here. Mm -hmm. So that I can complete said vivid. And that's it for the FOs. I mean, I guess it's a finished square, not a blanket, but you mm -hmm. you understand. Yeah, I was trying to think of a new acronym for that. Mm -hmm. Partially finished object. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just calling it a finished square. Alright, it has nothing to do with the blanket. Squires I put. had a off-camera FO a while ago that I got authorized to show you. 
Yeah, um, I have another FO that I haven't even shown you. One or two. Yeah, but. I guess I could mention that I also have an off-camera FO, and I wasn't sure if I was going to do this, but I'll just put it out there. If you haven't ordered a birthday kit and would lovingly test knit for me, uh, DK weight yarn. It can be any DK weight yarn you want, or you can hold something double. I don't care um, what yarn is used, but I need a test knitter or two. So contact me. Um, I will double cross. I double cross. <laughs> I will double check you or cross reference to make sure you're not a kit holder, mm -hmm. and then I must swear you to absolute secrecy. Mm -hmm. And the pattern will just be the pattern. There'll be no pictures in it. Um, unless I include a picture of the non, um, spoilery yarn that I used, because yep. I've knit two of them so far. Yep. And, um, yes, I would really appreciate that. Yep. And Megan's busy with her design, and I'm not sure I want to add my test knit onto her pile yes. of things she needs to accomplish. <laughs> Alright, um, so my FO is a shawl that I designed for, um, spoiler alert, sorry, I picked it up, hopefully you weren't looking at it and you would have no idea. So, spoiler alert, if you are in the Yarn vs. Zombies um, World Traveler uh, Shawl Club, you might want to look away. <laughs> because I designed the shawl for this month, they are going to, and it's a German island and I'm not going to say it just to further keep the secret. Um, but, and also, I don't think I per would pronounce it right. I think I read that I pronounced it wrong mm -hmm. in my mind. Um, but the pattern is called Beacon Beckons. And this is the colorway for the, for the, the, um, the club this month. This is the item that I knit three times, basically, in entirety. And ripped out, you know, knit it once, um, blocked it, ripped it out, knit it again, blocked it. Um, it it was a, it was a um, trial and error, and the yarn has done fantastically, considering that it's been washed and blocked a bajillion times. Um, but the pattern's called Beacon Beckons. Um, I was inspired by the um, the crest of the of the island. Right. Um, it's got a beacon on it, a, a lighthouse, mm -hmm. um, and the way that sometimes light looks like it's pulling you in and sometimes it looks like it's shining out, mm -hmm. so beckoning you to the, to the island nation. Um, it is a very non-standard size, so you can see that, um, very roughly, yes, very roughly and very, um, it sits well, so like you, I didn't really put it on, but. It, it'll stay on in just about any configuration. You can have your big little beacon motif here, or you can have it on your shoulder. Um, I kind of like it this way. Oh, a little sideways. Yep, a little sideways. Oh, Max is coming. Come on, Max. People missed you. Don't worry about you. Thank you. Um, but yes, it's got a, a ruffle edge, um, some garter. And then these um, these arrows up sections. So okay. um, very, I, I I love the drape. It's a single ply yarn, much like TML, and um, I believe the colorway is um, the sky beckons. No, the bring me that horizon. Okay, which was another kind of inspiration of the design. So and. Uh, there was something yes cool. kiki kiki has extra kits available so if you like the design and you want to give it a try this one's a little small because i lost some yardage in the process and the pattern has so that you could make it bigger it's almost big enough that if i had made if i could have made it a little longer i could also worn it to the um, like kind of like a wrap on the around mm -hmm. your waist as well um but yes she's got she said she's going to put the kits up Hopefully I'll be able to linky loo it in the episode thread. And um, sh and she is generously offering a coupon for 10% off of your whole cart if you have the shawl kit in there. So your whole purchase is 10% off if you get the shawl kit, which is the this beautiful yarn and my pattern. And it's zombie shawl. 
um, Z-O-M-B-I-E-S-H-A-W-L is the coupon code. Cool. So hopefully um, I can mark at this minute mark that the spoiler is over. And um, away we and go. take it off. Oh, yeah, probably <laughs> should. But it's so nice. I like it. Well, yeah, but you're spoiling people. I'm so spoiling. Spoilers. <laughs> um, but yes, it was. it's a beautiful yarn, and it held up well to being I abused. can attest to the abuse. So yes. um, it's... It is held up very nicely for as much abuse as it's taken. Yes, yes. As in, I can't tell that it was abused that much. Mm, so pretty. Anyway, that is that. Um, go check out those kits if you're interested. I know that she doesn't have an infinite number. So if you're interested, pause. We'll wait for you. <laughs> we'll be here when you come back. And that is my only FO. I have another FO that was off camera that is a gift for somebody. And um, I'm sure. I'm not going to. I mean, I could. I have in the past. Right. Um, shown things and the, the recipient doesn't know until they get it. And they go, oh, wait. She showed that on the podcast. Um, but this time, I'm keeping it on the deal. Okay. All right. All right. Yes, I am. Um, which works works in progress. So, I had ADD this weekend. Is that like CAD knitting ADD? Mm -hmm. CAD could be. Okay. So I, um, I worked uh, a great deal on my um, socks for uh, the I'm a Sock Giver, the um, Socks Classifieds. Yeah, the Socks Classifieds, which again, I am so um, impressed and enthusiastic about going out there and seeing how many people are willing to give the socks. Mm -hmm. And um, if you haven't had a pair of hand knit socks, I recommend going into the thread and checking it out because mm -hmm. uh, once you have them, you will be compelled to actually try to knit them yourself so you can have more. Mm -hmm. And um, and you're not paying for the labor, you're just paying for the yarn that you would probably buy and squish anyway. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, I would highly recommend checking it out. Yes. But uh, this is the start, a toe up. Sock. Um, Excellent. Yeah, this is uh, a BFL uh, nylon base, and it's going to be an amazingly cool sock. I don't know how durable, you know, it depends on how hard you are on them, but mm -hmm. it's a nice tight um, fabric and should be really cool. Awesome. And then I, uh, in my looking around my projects page I realized that these socks have been on the needles for an entire year. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> and no idea that they'd been sitting there that long. So I went back and got the pattern out and um, started knitting. Decided that I was okay with a shorter cuff because it was kind of tight and any further up on my calf it would be too tight. Mm -hmm. So they're going to be shorter socks. I'm not used to knitting those so to me it looks like it's way too soon to be starting the heel flap. But I went ahead and started the heel flap and I'm excited to get those going and get them off the needles. It's been on a year. Wow. And that's it's by far my um, longest FO at this point. Uh, it's uh, Zombie Barbecue, Lorna's Laces. And their shepherd sock. And the pattern is oh, breaking hearts. Um, yes, I think that was one of our Christy first Brockway. Dis or dats, right? Yeah, one I've done one of those in a while. We should do one. Okay, we'll have to think of one. Yeah, we're completely unprepared, but we'll get one going. Yeah, if you have an idea of a cool dis or dat category that maybe we haven't done in a while, well, we could probably do something with that tiny uh, uh, knits. Yeah, for October. Yeah. So, um, so next time we'll have it this or that, it'll be a quick turnaround on the voting mm -hmm. and drawing so that you can have the pattern in time for October. Mm -hmm. But now we get to go shopping for which patterns we want to dis or dat, so that'll be fun. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. Dis or dat. Dis or dat. And then I knit a little bit more on this. And again, it's so hard. I need to put like a little stitch marker in there so you can see like, oh look, I did four rows. They're so cute. You know, like it. It's ridiculous oh, how long it how takes. How adorable. <laughs> it's ridiculous how long it takes me to go back and forth. But again, the ADD. It was like, okay, I'm gonna do a couple rows on this one. Yay! And then back to other stuff because I can't keep on one project. 
And then last but certainly not least, I worked more on my um, Noodle McNoodle. Noodle McNoodleson. Yep, Noodle McNoodle. So, um, oh Noodle. So, uh, yeah, she does a cross reference right there. Yes. <laughs> Very cross reference. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Come inside, it's fun inside. So, yeah. Got ears. And I'm starting the legs. And, um, seems like I will have this done next time. It's, it's going pretty fast. Seems as if I'm getting a reading here. <laughs> how does how does Sean do it in psych? Oh, do, it's like, does is it the thumb to the forehead? How did the psychics do it? I can't remember now. There's a certain yeah. way to hold your hand in psych. Yeah. yeah. Gus, it's been so long. They need to come back. I know, from there. right? Sean and Gus, come, come on, on. Guster, come on now. Um, and. I was at I was in a video <laughs> chat where we sang um M I C C U S at the end. K Y everybody Why? we all chimed in because it was adorable. I bet it was. I can picture it. Yep. So the A D D N did um vivid definitely. And then, yeah, I'd also finished uh, my project, my secret knitting. And so now I'm going to have a lot of socks. Socks, socks, socks. Yep. And I didn't work anything on the Pont Neuf. Um, it just wasn't calling to me. No big, it, probably the heat. Mm. No big projects worked on at all. Just little things and finishing. Did you have, um, you said you went back and looked at whether or not you got cast on itis at this time of year. I did not have cast on itis. At did you time have like sock itis? It seems I like all of a sudden. So. Okay. It was kind of random. Okay. Like I did. I went out to every um, podcast last year September and looked at my whips, and it didn't Seem have like any yeah rhyme or reason to it. We should have done a. Um, Nitrospective. Yeah. Nitstalgia. Nitstalgia. <laughs> she forgets the name of her own segment. segment. I like <laughs> Nitrospective as well. <laughs> was, there was a toss up. Nitstalgia. We should have done the Nitstalgia. Yeah. All right. I'm working on things. Blasted working on things. Um, I'm like in this like complete mode right now with designing. Like you heard about how I ripped out the shawl three times. Where like I'll knit something and I'm like, Oh, that's not how I wanted it to look in my mind. Like, it's almost perfectionism. Mm -hmm. Like, I have this perfect thing in my mind that's, like, effortless and engaging to knit all at the same time and, you know, fits certain parameters and, like, I just have it. It's just perfect. Mm -hmm. And I think it's, I think the bar is so high with your design because I love it so much that I'm like, I have to be able to match that <laughs> level of awesome. And I just, it's a, my, just not there yet. So thank you for the high compliment. <laughs> yes, I, I um I don't want to look like a slough compared to you. Okay. So. I mean I enjoy the pattern and and I um, knit one for my daughter and one for myself. Um, so I'm enjoying it and I would not want to rip anything that I've knit out and then try again. <laughs> yeah, the new the this yarn is holding that we're using for the kits is holding out very well. I That's think good. that I've knit the first part of the skein like at least 60 times and okay. it's, it's holding up well. Later I can show you what I had left over so you can give an idea. <laughs> yeah. The, so yeah, there's that. Um, fear not, I have until October. Yeah, something will happen. Um, this is my Austin hoodie, which I did not realize upon deciding I was going to be mm. doing it was bottom up. Um, I've put, I've gotten through the waist decreases, um, which happen first and bottom up. If your waist decreases means you're fairly early on mm -hmm. in, the, in the top down. Um, I guess not. You're past the armholes. But I'm now into the waist increases. Yay. Yay. Which means good things are coming. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah. 
the hard part about this pattern is all the interesting stuff happens from like under bust up. Mm -hmm. Like there's interesting stuff on the upper part and I don't think the sleeves have anything overly interesting about them. Mm -hmm. No, other than the bottom. But then there's a hood. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I've got to eat my eat my vegetables or I can't have my pudding. Go to eat your meat or you can't have your pudding. <laughs> um, so yes, this is the Austin Hoodie by Connie Chang Chichino. And um, I'm knitting it out of the intense colorway of the Moreno Single Ply, Single Valley, Single Valley, <laughs> Sun Valley Fibers, Single Ply, Sun Valley Fibers. My say ball. that three times. I tried to say it one time <laughs> fast and I couldn't. And my balls are getting small. Um, those blue balls are getting big small. Balls. Small blue balls are getting and my balls, blue balls are getting small. Um, yeah. It's, I, I think I would be okay if I were knitting it in the round and I was going to sneak it because it's these pearl back rows. My balls are pink. Uh, pearl back rows. So, <laughs> yes, they are. Um, and I was knitting, not purling. I flipped it around. Then I, at the soccer tournament, had um, my Kirby Werby yarn in the, um, and you will not believe, okay, complete that thought, Kirby Werby yarn in the zombie granny panties colorway. Mm -hmm. And I experimented with my OMG heel top down. Um, it's less intuitive top down, the OMG heel, like not less intuitive, but it feels more like it, it should fit like an actual true gusset. Um, but it's still worth worthwhile because you don't have the the skinny stripes where you're getting rid of the extra gusset stitches. Mm -hmm. So you truly have the. Um, you can try on your sock and try on this. Uh, it's just the texture. number of times that I have gone. Oh crap! I did this wrong, and then went. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a <tutorial laughs> sock. That's because funny. I've just, that's my mindset, you know, yeah. I mean, I, I totally get pe why people fall into one camp or the other, because, you know, I've, You're I've totally primarily there. done toe up, I've primarily, um, that's my preference, that's what my mind wants to think about when I look at um, socks, and so when I hold it up and I go, oh, right, that was <laughs> and I'm like, okay, deep breaths, mm -hmm. You're doing it in a way you don't normally, and I just added a little bit of um, the pattern zigs in when a uh, color changes and zigs out when the color changes again. Just a little visual interest, or not even visual interest, I don't know if you can even see it. Um, a little interest for me, the knitter, selfishly um, patterning for me um, to have it. But yes, feel, feels and fits much like the, um, the OMG toe up. And I don't feel the decreases. I was kind of worried about the okay. decreases. Okay. You don't. You don't really feel them. In fact, it's almost like there's a little extra padding. Okay. For your, for your heel hits. But I got to do some, some toe action, and um, away we go. As uh, Jenna said on Instagram, she can see my granny zombie granny panties are showing. Yeah. So that's that. And those are primarily the two things I have been working on. Didn't want to work on the sweater there for a while and made some good progress on the socks while writing down what I was doing. Cool. And away we go. Yeah, I'm, um, I switched to these, this heel flap and I've decided that, that if I ever knit this pattern again, I'm not putting the patterning on the heel. Mm. It's kind of a pain in the tush. It'll be beautiful. Mm-hmm. So, so this but you are to... knitting this that sock again, right? Because you have to do the other one. If I ever knit another pair. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Um, I, I do want them to match each other. Sorry. Yes. I sometimes I. I know make my socks not match. match. I'm like, eh, it's too bad. <laughs> if anybody's looking that closely, they'll keep my feet warm. Mm -hmm. They'll wear. Um, I have some enabling. Okay, no. You're doing enabling? Alrighty. All mine is on its way. On its way. It were. I have recently purchased 
from the fabulous Mary Gale. And look at this custom packaging. <laughs> apples. Cute. There's some apples. And then there's apple trees. Cute. Yeah. Adorbs. So that's Spy Spartacus Dice. At Nashville, Tennessee. And I saw this base and I wanted to give it a try. It is the Braverman sock, which is a 80% superwash merino, 20% silk. Um, this is Marie from the Breaking Bad series. 400 grams, uh, 400 yards, <laughs> 100 grams. And it's just beautiful purple with a little silvery, like, or maybe even, you know, silvery cream mostly silvery accent and then this is also the same the Braverman base in the Breaking Bad series called Crystal Blue Persuasion mm -hmm. same put up same um, and I liked them together as kind of an atypical combo and I have been looking for I have lots of like and I don't know if other people do this but I have lots of skeins in my stash that aren't the same content same put up same you know like even a fingering across different dyers could be different and so mm -hmm. when I'm looking to do like a, I, and I want the colors to match so it's almost easier to just buy them together than it is to like hunt and peck through my stash and find something that could be you know this one has too much more silk than this one and it might not I don't know I want them to be matchy matchy and I, I want the colors to coordinate well. So I really like these two colors together. And it's the, um, that our, my favorite designer, one of my favorite designers, Amanda Bell. Oh, okay. Has the resonance um, cardigan. It's a, a short sleeve cardigan. It, I believe she did it with Sweet Georgia yarns. Okay. And it's kind of, it's knit, you know, on the bias and it's got a ziggy zaggy to it, like mm -hmm. resonance. And I really like it, and I wanted to, to knit it out of um, something. This silk will make it really drapey and nice, and it's got such a beautiful sheen. I hope you can see that on camera. Mm -hmm. Just a beautiful sheen. Um, but yeah, kind of an atypical colorway um, pairing, but I love it, I love it. And I saw these two in her shop, and I said, they must be mine. And then um, the reason why I went out to her shop in the first place before the other yarn called to me was I wanted to get some superwash um, worsted to make some more uh, Saloma's seamless slippers. Uh, this is Bonnie Blue from Gone with the Wind. It is 218 yards of a 100% superwash merino worsted. It's Bonnie Blue. Yep. Blue Butler. <laughs> So I think this is um, a dark enough colorway that I could get away with knitting some men some slippers if they would be willing to wear them. So um, that might be going on a foot near you sometime soon. And then I was again enabled by our enabling thread. I believe that one was um, a Labor Day sale. Okay. That's Spartacus. She had a coupon code out there. And then the wonderful Steve of Dramatic Knits of Leading Men Fiber Arts has been enabling out in our enabling thread. You said you wanted to get something and found it to be gone. Yes, the foliage colorway, that was instantly gone. Ah, so I don't know if Steve's watching but or his close and personal friends. I want the foliage colorway. <laughs> it was beautiful. <sighs> so cool. Just cool. I decided to try out. I don't know if you've checked out his shop. Um, it has a lot of, he's got really bright stuff, like the over the top, blinga, knock you in the eye, put your sunglasses on stuff. And then he's got some more manly colorways. And I went for some of the more manly colorways, the more darker. And I really like the way that the colors are layered. I also like the color sense. Like he's got a very strong, like his color sense matches with mine. Mm -hmm. So you might look at this and be like, well, that's just a blue with some blacks and grays and um boring or something yeah like. but i love it i think that this is fantastic so i got this is his um showcase base which is 490 yards which is a great put up i mean that's almost like a wool put up mm -hmm. right there or however he taught us how to say it do you remember how to say vol volmaisa 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 um this is so his showcase base is 100 percent superwash merino fingering weight and it's shop.leadingmenfiberarts.com 
this is industrial light and I think it's going to become a fingering weight garment of some sort because I have almost a thousand yards and um, I had one picked out I told myself I wasn't gonna buy another sweater at quantity unless I picked it out picked out the sweater before and I had it picked out I can't remember it now um, but very very pretty I think that this is gonna look really nice um, coordinating or alternating skeins because the colors are very similar, but yet um, it doesn't seem like they're layered the same way. Mm -hmm. Those skates, super soft, super soft. Like mm -hmm. I'm gonna be feeling myself up. And then um, the other base that I really like is this showstopper base, which is 463 yards, um, which is 75% squash merino and 25% nylon in a fingering weight yarn. And this is man of mystery. And oh my goodness, this is like color layered upon color. I absolutely love it, Steve. I know that I told you um, in an email, but I wanted to tell you on air again as well. It's just, I really like how it transitions mm -hmm. from like the teal to a darker black. Yeah, that's his favorite color, isn't it? Teal? I don't know. It's maybe Man of Mystery has died after his own heart. Mm -hmm. But it's, I really like this base. I like the nylon gives it a little, kind of like the silk with the other one, gives it a little bit of a sheen. Yep. Whereas this is kind of more of a matte. Mm -hmm. This would be more of a gloss. And um, I don't know what, I didn't quite decide what I was going to do with this. I think it would make a really pretty one of those um, Martina Bem shawls because mm -hmm. it's, it's variegated enough. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to try out his bases and give um, a new dyer a, a try. And you wanted to feel them up too. I did. <laughs> and I did. Um, yeah, I just, it seems like he's had quite frequent updates. So mm -hmm. I'll wait for the next time he mm -hmm. enables us and um, go out there now that I've um, had a chance to touch some of the bases. Touches the base. And then he sent a cute little. Um, yeah, I got button. one too. It's already in my bag. Yep. And those were my purchases. It's quite cute. It is. And I do think that it is this time of year. I remember commenting last year about this time mm -hmm. that um, I was purchasing a lot of things. Yeah, I get um, I get kind of um, obsessed with something mm -hmm. and I can't let it go. So my, rate, my most recent obsession is the little looms that people are using. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I have a pickle on my nose. It's all that Chaz hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's in the air. Um, so those little looms, the four inch looms, um, I think Shaft is making them now, the Zoom loom. Um, but I know that they make vintage ones or they made them in the 60s and there's tons of them out there. Um, and I saw one at my mom's house and I said, mom, do you have that? Do you have that? I need it. I need it. Well, she found it and she posted it to Instagram and I saw it and I'm like, that's it. It's mine. Yay. But then I went out to eBay and bought another one. <laughs> Because I don't know when I'm going to see my mom again, and I want it hand delivered. And then she also mentioned, like, wouldn't it be fun if we both had them and we can make squares and we trade them or something? I don't know. But my plan is to um, start with some of my hand spun when I get it. Mm -hmm. And I'm excited. That is exciting. And then I bought, um, I have some spin-along fiber that I bought ages ago or ordered ages ago and recently paid for. So hopefully that's on its way to me from um, Boho Chick Knitter and, um, no, Boho Chick Spins Knitter, no, Boho Spins, oh gosh, I'm so sorry, <laughs> but I think I've mentioned her before. Um, yep, you did the mon the superhero bats. So yeah, yeah, right the right? X-Men bats. Yep. So I got a bat and I got fiber this time, uh, um, roving. And they're really cool colorways, and I'm hoping that they'll be here shortly. Hmm. Uh, and something else. Oh, bacon bits. Or yeah. bacon. Bacon baby. Bacon baby with bacon bits. Um, it's a dancing dog dye colorway that has been uh, dyed especially for a good friend of ours. Yes. So Miss Bacon Fairy. Yes, Miss Bacon Fairy. So uh, I'm a baby. Yes. <laughs> So we were very excited about that, and so I was like, oh, am I going to miss the update or whatever? And I think I was, like, even not right on it, right? And I think I was, like, half an hour late or something, and it was still there. So it was meant to be mine. Mm -hmm. Likewise. Likewise. Click, click, purchase. Yay! <laughs> 
So those should be coming. Um, yeah. Soonly. Not, soonly, yeah, not soonly ish. Super close. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, I have another enabling from our thread. Um, it's Marigold Gin jumped into the cart. And then I got, now I got the leading man that has to happen. But again, I had the colors. I Like the foliage, I was ready to buy and it was gone. And the rest of them, I'm just kind of like, that one, no, that one, no, that one, no. And I can't, can't decide, can't make up my mind. So I'm sure that as we see the updates come in, I'll, I'll see one that yeah. that grabs me. It's interesting. I've, I've met a lot of dyers that I've met because they were dyers. Mm -hmm. But like we met him before he was a dyer. Right. It's just kind of cool. So like I've been a lot I've of people gotten before they were dyers. Yeah. I met Ufancy Pants before she was a dyer. <sighs> um, yeah. And her updates are always while we're podcasting. <laughs> Is that why I can't get it? Yes, it is. It is like, indeed. I know that I haven't been a able different to get night. any. <laughs> Emily, <laughs> different night. But I, I, yeah, it never dawned on me why. Yeah. Um, but yes, that is that. I my stash continues to grow. I need to start putting like a, if I knit five, I can buy one <laughs> in place. I have been recently obsessed with. Um, Lisa Much has a um, new pattern out called the Ingot, Ing Ingot, Ingo. I don't right. know how you would say it. I mean, if you said it like Margot, it would okay. be Ingo. Uh -huh. um, but it's kind of like a capelet, kind of like a shawl, kind of like a cowl. Like you could wear it in oh, multiple yeah, ways. Oh yeah, you linked that to me. Okay. Yeah. And I think I'm gonna break up a sweater quantity in my in my stash shoe and it, and it breaks my heart because it was like oh that could have been a sweater but it's dk and it's enough yardage that yeah and i don't want to i don't need to go buy anything you turn the rest of it into salomas or something yeah i'll do something with it or desash it or give it away as a prize or do something right yeah. i mean like it'll it'll become something it just seems like it was if it was destined to be a sweater, it should be. Like, if the sweater knitter in me just kind of cringes. Like, you're breaking up a sweater lot. <laughs> but, um, oh, what was I going to say? Something about enabling. Patterns. Patterns. Oh, yeah. Brooklyn Tweed put out a bunch of new patterns that mm -hmm. were on the top 20 list. I queued one. Yeah. It's very I liked, delicious. Oh, I liked the one that had a big, um, I think it was like a mock brioche, um, Collar. Was it a giant cowl? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that one too. Yeah, I was until you get to knitting it, and then you're like, yeah, this thing has a giant cowl. I know. I did like, that with the idle foot. <laughs> it's like I knit this sweater first from the top down as the neck, and then I get to knit the rest of it. Yeah, I, I noticed that that and it it's fingering held double, so it's like In two the, thousand yards, twenty two hundred yeah, for the, the small loft. size. Yeah, <laughs> and so it's like, well, you could just buy DK or worsted instead. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's like there was a cabley one. I think it was in purple or dark blue or something, and and it reminded me of a yarn that I already have. So mm -hmm. I was like, Ooh, you know, <laughs> add. Yeah. Yeah, the yardage, the yardage being for the smallest size, like 2,200 or 24, kind of gave me pause. And then I read that it was fingering he held double, but I was like, God, that cowl must suck up a lot of yardage yeah. if it's 2,200 yards of fingering weight yarn. But um, We have a friend who's knitting that, um, is it, oh God, was strange? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. That's gonna be amazing. Yes. Like state fair. Yes, yes. Amazing, amazing. Except I don't think they have they probably have a lot of nitty entrants in <laughs> in Arizona or <laughs> It's a winner. Yeah. You win. Um All right. That's, that's all I had. We're just Battle. Blah, blah 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 blah. Hey, I've got things going on in my mind about knitting, and I'm going to say them aloud right yeah, now. Um, the retreat sign-ups happened, started last Friday. There are still spots available if you are interested in coming. Yeah. Um, again, first come, first serve, and we ha I'll have we will have a pretty good idea now, unless there's a big rush, if we're going to be, if we're near our capacity. Uh -huh. um, but it is not limitless, so the sooner you can get in, the better is probably good. Um, so you can secure your spot because I would hate for somebody who wanted to come and was just waiting to 
Yeah, miss out. Um, and we also have the ZK vendor signups are out there on the um, zombieknitpocalypse.com. So if you are a yarn dyer or a maker of um, yarny things, yarny things, um, that's kind of our only requirement is that you are the, you know, you, it's your handicraft, right? Right. It's not like that you're selling somebody else's. I don't know, shacked spinning wheels or something. Like yeah. You're not buying from somebody else and selling it again. I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Handmade. Handmade stuff is, um, which I guess those are handmade. Anyway. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Those signups are um, until the end of September where we will then be choosing the vendors that are will be selling in our marketplace. So if you are interested um, and you are interested in making the trek, um, Please do throw your hat, name in the hat, hat in the ring, name in the hat, um, because we'd love to have you. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Yes. And that is that. Yep. And that is Max. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye, Ufta. <laughs>